You know, if um, this is the Crazy Joe Show, uh, part two of my uh, statement about uh, that that jerk off fucking douchebag backwood who practices incense, and I'm not talking about burning incense. I'm talking about, and I might not be saying it right, but uh, I have a slight speech impediment, but. Uh, you know, where the good old boys get together and fuck their sisters and fuck their cousins and everybody else. Uh, you know, the thing with this guy, Sam, I don't know if he was legit or not, but I have every right to be paranoid. I have every right to to uh, be suspicious of people that uh, come out of nowhere Especially Sam did. He came out of nowhere. The people in the podcast with that guy Tony in Philadelphia, they came out of nowhere. The people that uh, told me that Billy uh, took uh, stole the gun from a blind disabled person. Um, you know, that came out of nowhere. You can't, you can't trust people that come out of nowhere. And because I grew up in New York City where the real street survivalist people are, the greatest people in the world that could survive in any fucking situation in the world or whatnot, not just New York City. I come from that background, and I know better. And I'm not going to be fooled or manipulated in any fucking way by any stranger or person that I don't fucking know that I'm not going to put my trust. And if uh, if Sam out there hears this, he has to understand that, you know, I cannot put my faith and trust in anyone that I don't really know. Now, the internet is just like CB fucking radio. You got voices out there. You got people that you don't know if they exist or not, if they're fake, if they're phony, if they're made up, they're given names, they're given identities. They take on the persona, the identity of anyone they want to take on. Anybody can pretend to be anything they want to be, okay? They can tell you on the internet they're Superman, and they and they can prove it, and and they really can't prove it, but but they'll fool you to think that they are Superman or uh, Spider-Man or, you know, uh, the Green Hornet or any of these superheroes, that's what the internet is. It's a phony bullshit that anybody can manipulate anybody to, to make them believe that they're this person. And I don't believe that shit. Okay, because people are behind this fucking glass. And as long as people are hiding and manipulating that they can manipulate things to set people up, to fuck people around, I ain't going to fucking believe a fucking thing. And I feel a little bad about Sam that, you know, he he really tried to prove that he was a for real guy, but it's not that I didn't trust him or wanted to trust him is that I really felt that the evidence was was there to tell me that all of a sudden this guy comes out of the woodwork defends me says about especially Billy and all this stuff I said in the prior video it was just too much too soon and I couldn't handle it to trust this this person. And I'm not saying it's a matter of trust. It's a matter of circumstance. a matter of how these people could just pop into your life unexpectedly. And then you're supposed to trust them with your life. And that is just too much to fucking ask. And I'm not going to put myself in that position. To trust him or anyone 
because I've been contacted through email. I've been contacted by all these people. I've been set up by uh, a few of, uh, of Ratso's boyfriends out there. And uh, there's just no way I feel confident enough, even though I would like to, even though I would like to make a new friend. Uh, but I got all the friends I need anyway. But it would have been nice, you know. But the thing is, you just can't trust people here on the internet. A lot of them are up to no good. There's uh, all this shit going on in the internet, bad shit going on with hacking and manipulation and and uh, just all kinds of of things that are just not uh, that's just not right. They're they're suspicious uh, at the very least. So you just can't uh, say, oh, I, I'm going to trust this guy. He's he's the friend I've never had, uh, especially in this situation with a bunch of fucking jerk-offs like Ratso and, 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 and Billy Scumbag, Backwood Hillbilly Douchebag Fuckface, you know? So these people... They have, they know people, and they can put you uh, in a situation where they can just manipulate, fool you, carn artist you. That's really where it's about. It's about them carn artist, being carn artist, and because they're mentally retarded. Billy's a mental retard. He's got mental fucking problems. All he does is 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 uh, moan out there in his stupid fucking videos and complains about this and like really people don't even give a flying fuck about this douchebag, fuckface, bro back mountain queer bastard asshole. They don't care about him. They really don't. Um, you know. He's just out there uh, with a shitty diaper, wah, wah, Joe this and Joe that. But he, but, and of course he'll say what he did, but he uh, justifies it. And, you know, whatever he's, he complains about, about what I did to him, he fucking deserved it. And he deserves even worse than that. But he's, but he's lucky that I'm, 1,300 miles a fucking way, or else I would uh, make sure that Billy gets, uh, you know, what what Billy should, uh, should receive uh, for that. And anybody out there wouldn't blame me at all, really. Nobody would. Uh, but, you know, whatever. I say whatever. Whatever. So, uh, I, you know, that fucking jerk off with his fucking crying and moaning and complaining, like he wants everyone to feel sorry for him. Hey, when you fuck around with me or anybody else out there, you get what's coming to you. You know what I mean? You get what's coming to you. And believe me, it could have been, like I said, if we were... Uh, whatever, it would have probably been worse. Okay? Because uh, what I did to him was nothing in comparison to what he did to me. And, uh, and he was just damn lucky that this company was a bunch of pussies and a bunch of fucking douchebag ass wipes. He's very fucking lucky. Because the other companies... That he that he tried to do the same thing. They didn't want to listen to him, and they basically told him to fuck off. And three sixty five should have told him to fuck off too, but they're a bunch of fucking pussy motherfuckers. And if I had, uh, the kind of money that it takes, I would have sued them, uh, for everything that they're fucking worth. And I think I would have won. I think I would have won, because they're a public company. And they're not supposed to do that. Okay? So fuck them. And I got better anyway. Because when you're right like I am, right is might. 
when you're justified to say the things that I say, then right is might. And uh, everything turned out better, which was really amazing because the man is on my side. And Billy represents nothing but pure fucking evil because he's a bully and he's a fucking, he thinks who he thinks he is. And he's stuck on himself. And But more importantly, he's mentally retarded and he has mental problems and he needs to go into a fucking institution and he needs some fucking mental drugs. Um, you know, the, the guy's totally a, a, a fucking loser and a mentally retarded person. And he should volunteer to put himself in the mental hospital I don't think they're going to do much good, but uh, perhaps uh, with the um, modern uh, drugs and psychology that they have now, perhaps they could cure his fucking ass. What a fucking douchebag.